Hi, welcome to How to Repair. Have you come back to your washing machine to find out you've got an IE error code or sometimes misinterpreted as 1E? Don't worry, it's a simple fix. But an important notice to all people who've been watching other videos. The new LG machines have got DC water valves fitted to them. And if you fit the wrong component to your machine, you stand a chance of blowing the circuit board. So all DIYers and also engineers do watch the testing procedure on these water valves at the end. You can also use the diagnostic system to be able to ascertain which water valve may have gone faulty. There are only five reasons why you would have an IE error code coming up on your display and I will be talking you through all five procedures. The first thing you want to check is the tap going to the actual water pipe. This needs to be made sure that the water is coming out of it at a sufficient rate. You may have got a calcified tap or the water supply may have dropped in pressure, not allowing the machine to fill. When people push washing machines back into their location, sometimes the pipes can get kinked. This is also a common problem. Sometimes the water supply can get contaminated due to old pipes, work taking place in the street, or maybe you're on well water. Undo the actual hose, take it off, and in the back of the solenoid is a filter. These can clog and restrict the actual flow of water going into the machine. Just put this in the sink and give it a good clean. Okay, the first thing we want to be doing is testing the water valve and taking the two connections off each water valve because you may have got the IE error code because one or other of the valves have failed. It depends on when the error came up during the cycle to obtain which valve is faulty. Now at the end of this video, I will be putting a link to diagnostic mode, which would actually be able to interpret which valve was faulty if you'd like to see that video. Do note that on old LG washing machines, they fitted AC water valves. On the new washing machines, they have fitted DC water valves. If you fit the wrong valve to your machine, you stand a chance of blowing the printed circuit board. So, this is a new machine, so these readings will be correct for you. My meter is set on 200 range ohms, and we've got a reading of 27.3. On the other valve, we should have about the same, 27.2. These valves are in good condition. The next thing that you could test is follow the wiring back to the printed circuit board and test the wires going through to here because sometimes wires can break internally so this needs to be checked. The last check that you could do is also putting the machine onto the test mode cycle and actually taking a DC voltage reading on the actual wires to make sure that you've got the correct voltage supplied to the wires. I will demonstrate this for you now. The other check that you can do is if the machine is set up to fill on the pre-wash valve or the main wash valve, you would be able to do a DC volt reading across the water valve to check that you've got the correct electrical supply going to the valve. This is fluctuating between 8 and 12 volts as it turns the water valve on. And there you go. After testing the whole machine and going through the process, your machine should now be filling correctly and working perfectly. I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and we have a full list of all LG repairs on new and old. Thank you very much indeed for watching and if we really helped you, you can always click on the Bipolar Beer page to support the website. Thanks very much indeed for watching.